Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I said that I didn't have any other videos planned for this week, but guess what? I do. The pharmacist's daughter is having, it's a vendor, wax vendor, body care vendor, by the way, if you guys haven't seen my other videos or followed me on my IG, um, they are having another release and restock January 15th, noon Eastern Standard Time. That's tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time. They sent me some of their new scents and products for me to talk to you about. Um, and I'm very, very excited. Sorry, I just brought so many groceries in the car or in the house from the car and I'm like out of breath. But I want to talk to you guys about these things. I have not sniffed or looked at any of them. I kind of got them laid out, but I haven't actually sniffed them. So these are going to be very first sniffs for me too. I have prices and stuff written out. If you guys don't know the pharmacist's daughter, this is kind of their vibe, kind of apothecary, handmade, art artisanal, artisanal <laughs> um, type look and feel. And it is all handmade. Kim and Ainsley Holcomb are the owners of the company, mother and daughter. Um, and you can find them on Facebook, Instagram, um, and just their website all right here. I will put a link down below. There's their information. So, uh, like I said, January at noon Eastern Standard Time is when this is going to be happening. Um, th they sent me a couple of new things. One of the very first things that they sent me, it's called a lotion bar. And they're selling this for $5. It's in a little tin. And it has the ingredients here on the back. Um, it's sweet almond oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, and then the fragrance oil. And they did let me know that this is, I've seen these actually, because I work at the hospital. I've seen this type of deal from other, you know, brands. It's a little lotion bar and you kind of have to rub it between your fingers. Oh my gosh. For it to melt with your body heat. Ugh, and they sent it to me in the scent butter mint. Oh, nice. That is really cool. Um, oh, it smells just like a butter mint, like a after dinner, like those melt away, dissolve minty butter mints. And that is really cool. This one actually uh, melts onto my skin easier than other ones that I've tried in the past. That is really, really nice. Um, at the hospital, all of us are constantly trying to find things to keep our fingers from cracking and our cuticles from ripping away. In fact, I have one right there that hurts so bad. Um, from washing our hands so much and using so much hand sanitizer. So I'm going to bring that to work this weekend when I go and see how it works. But that feels really nice. Not like it sunk right into my skin. It feels oily, obviously, when it melts onto your hands. Almost like a thinner butter, almost. But it soaked right in, but it feels really nice. And you can smell the butter mint as you're rubbing it onto your hands. But, like, the scent is already almost gone. So if you're worried about it smelling too much, it doesn't. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Um, so once again, $5 for that lotion bar. And then they're doing a deal. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, a soap bundle. There's three like thin pieces of soap in here for $8. And it comes in this really cute like apothecary bag with their stamp on it. Let me open them. I literally haven't even opened these. So this is the size of soap. You're getting three of them. Um, each one is 4.5 ounces and here's the ingredients. Let me read them to you. Olive oil, coconut oil, sustainable palm oil, castor oil, lye, distilled water, fragrance, and then color in some of them. Um, it just says a brand you can trust to provide gentle but lasting fragrances and quality that will keep your skin longing for more. And she did let me know that these soaps go through a process, like a curing process, a cold process for a few weeks, four to six weeks, in fact. Um, and I guess that allows, I'm just going to open one to show you. This first one, oh, it doesn't have, oh, snow flurries is this first one. Um, it allows the soap to get to a pH that matches your skin. Um, and we all know, especially females, if things don't, if the products that you use on yourself don't match your pH, you can have some issues. And this is one of the soap bars really pretty like gold glitters and it's sliced. It feels very creamy. And this one's called Snow Flurries. I'm not smelling too much coming off that actually. Maybe a touch of mint and eucalyptus. 
that's that first bar of soap here. Maybe I will open all of them for you so you can see. So there's one. The next one's called Blizzard, which I'm pretty sure I've had their wax in this scent before too. Um, I can get into it, you guys. I'm the worst at opening things. I think I was telling you guys in my last video, my empties or the one before that. Um, my husband makes so much fun of me because I'm literally the worst at opening things like cereal boxes and stuff like that. He knows who's opened it because I'm worse than my kids at opening things. Oh, look at this one. Oh, yeah. It's, look how pretty. This one's almost like a masculine minty woodsy blizzard. And this one also feels very creamy. Very pretty. Look at that color. Look at the marbling. Very nice. Let's see if I can get into this last one. <laughs> uh, this one's called Peppercorn. I'm hoping this one's like usually stuff that has peppercorn notes in it are is masculine. So, oh, this one's pretty. Oh, kind of reminds me of like the desert. How pretty that one is. Mmm. That almost smells like Christmassy almost. Like, like, uh, like cinnamon spices. It's like an earthy, spicy scent. It really matches the color of this. And this one, they all have the same texture, like this really creamy texture to it. So, like I said, the deal on them, um, I'm not sure if they're all going to come in these exact scents, but you can get three of these soap bars here for $8. So, and I've been on their site before and they have a ton of different soap scents. So I'm wondering if she's going to let you choose your own scents to put in that deal. We'll see. Um, she did send me also the, her lip balms. I've told you guys about these before. I've purchased them myself, um, in the mint julep scent. Uh, this one, she sent me in cherry and in one in chocolate orange truffle. Oh, that chocolate orange truffle definitely smells like chocolate orange. Mm, and that cherry is very much a cherry almond. Um, no matter the scent on these, um, this is the best stick balm I've ever used in my life. It's very soft and melty, um, and it stays on your lips for a long time. And when it's, you know, evaporates or you lick it off or whatever, it comes off your lips, you're left with really moisturized lips. I've had other people um, write under my post, same thing. Best lip balm in a stick I've ever had really, really nice. There's no price on here about it. I can't remember how much, I think like two bucks or so that I paid for them. Um, but she sent me just some more because she knew I loved them so much, but I buy them myself and will continue to buy them for myself because they're so good. Okay. And, uh, the next thing are everything else is wax. So the first thing are the two ounce snap bars and they're $3 each. These are the scents that are coming out on the 15th. So the first one is cozy cabin and it's icy peppermint crackling birch, mm -hmm. white birch, and vanilla. You guys know I love crackling birch. Oh, yes. Oh, you guys should. Um, I mean, this is great for January, too. You should definitely put this out as a Christmas scent. It's that icy peppermint and that woodsy Christmas tree. And there is vanilla. You can just feel a touch of vanilla with that peppermint almost that just sweetens it up. So it's a very woodsy fir tree. It says birch, but almost like woodsy fir tree with icy pepper. That's really good. Um, I feel like that could easily come out at Christmas or easily be melted during January. That's going to be really strong. Love this color too. Matches the scent. Wow. That's good. Okay. The next one's called ski lodge fir trees, spearmint, ooh, shave and a haircut. Woo, woo, woo. You guys know I'm going to love this one. Mm, oh my gosh. Okay, I actually get Shave and a Haircut the Strongest, which is interesting because I feel like it hides in blends. And then I get Spearmint. Mm. And the fir trees in the background. Oh man, that's good. Definitely a spearminty Shave and a Haircut. If you, have, if you haven't been in the wax world or the vendor oil world for a long time, shaving a haircut it makes you 
I don't think it's super masculine, but it makes you think of a man that has just shaved, gotten a haircut. It's just very fresh and clean and ready for the day. Oh, so good. Mixed with spearmint and just a touch of fur tree. Oh, I swear these two scents, they were like my type of scents. Fresh, clean, masculine mixed with mint. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, this is a double layered one. Winter beach house, blue sugar, driftwood, salt air, lemon zest, and sand dunes. I just want to pull one out so you can see. Very much reminds you of the, of the beach. Oh, okay. I'm getting like aquatic, like salt air first. Hmm. Hmm. That is a very calm, cool beach house. So not strong on the blue sugar whatsoever. I get the salt air, the sand dunes, the driftwood, just a touch of lemon and the smallest touch of blue sugar. This is very much just serene, calm, relaxed. Like you can imagine sitting on a chair on a deck at a beach house. Wow, that brings you somewhere. Winter beach house. That is beautiful because it really does smell like it smells like a beach house, but it smells like cold beach air. Wow. Really good. Okay. This next one's called full of energy. Huh? Pineapple, cranberry, coconut, vanilla bean, Noel, and tea and cakes. I need to be full of energy. Ooh. Mmm. Now I see why it's called that. Oh, I don't even know what I get first. Usually tea and cakes takes over blends. Not so here. A very lively pineapple. A very, um, you definitely get cranberry. It's a very like spritzery, lively cranberry. You get coconut. Oh my goodness. Mmm, this is just fun. Full of energy is a really good name for this. I would... I don't know. It's a pineapple cranberry scent, but you definitely get the coconut and just a touch of that tea and cakes, but it's creamy too. It's not fizzy, but it's like you can imagine it being fizzy. Oh, that's good. Very fun. Very nice spring, summer, any time of year. A very, it's, it's fizzy without being fizzy because it feels so invigorating. Hmm. That is a winner. Holy, that's nice. That's just really, that's really fun. Full of energy for sure. Okay. This one's called citrus clean summer linen, fresh linen and avo bath, avo bath, however you want to say it. Oh man. Yep. Definitely avo bath. And I can't sing, single out the difference between summer linen and fresh linen. But there's definitely linen. This definitely smells like an Avoboth linen with an added citrusy. Maybe the summer linen has like a citrus to it. That's really nice though, because it's very nice for like cleaning day. Uh, very strong, very linen and Avobath with like an extra almost like tangerine or mandarin kind of a thing going on in there. Really good. So those are all the snap bars. Um, let me just see here. Okay, so the next one up that I have are the bunts. And these bunts are 2.5 ounces and they're 350 each. She sent me two bunts. The first one here is called Cranberry Orange Mocktail. And it's cranberry salsa, oranges, 7-up pound cake, and fizzy pop. Yes! Oh, I love this bunt shape. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cranberry salsa and oranges. Now, if you don't like really fizzy scents, don't be afraid. This is a touch fizzy, but not super fizzy. You definitely get that 7-Up pound cake and oranges and cranberry salsa and just a tiny touch of that fizzy pop. It's called cranberry orange mocktail, but it almost to me more smells like a cranberry orange bread. Mmm. 
Y'all know I'm a cranberry orange girl, so. Oh, that's delicious. This, now with those notes, you would think like New Year's Eve or holiday, which yes, but because of that 7-Up pound cake and that fizzy pop, you could melt this like anytime. Oh, that's delicious. That is a really, really good one. Um, Wow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then the other bunch she gave me is called Baker's Delight, Blackberry Jam, Zucchini Bread, Funnel Cake, and Pie Crust. Once again, these are $3.50 each. Ooh, yum. Okay, and it's not, it smells like the actual blackberry jam, mm, which is so good. I'm not getting, if the funnel cake is in there, it's not the cinnamon funnel cake because I'm not getting any cinnamon or spice. But I do get pie crust. Not much zucchini bread. If there's zucchini bread in there, this mostly smells like blackberry jam and pie crust to me. But that blackberry jam is good. Very good. I'm very particular about blackberry. Mmm. I, wow. Mmm. That blackberry is really good. Um, it, yeah, it's almost like a blackberry pie. Is what this smells like to me. And it smells, once again, strong. So that one's nice, too. Both of those bunts are very, like, fruity nice. I'm glad they put them in the bunts because that's what they kind of remind me of, you know, baked goods. Okay, so the next are the tiles. These tiles are two and a half ounces, and they're three fifty. So this first one is Sweet Slumber. And it's a lavender, marshmallow fluff, pink sugar, and sugar cookies. Ugh, I opened the bag. I have wax all over my hand now. Mm, okay. And this is her beautiful lavender that I keep telling you about that I love so much. It's that earthy lavender. And it's sweetened. It's still mostly lavender. I don't get much pink sugar or sugar cookie straight out. This is more of a lavender marshmallow blend. Yeah, if you think you're gonna get pink sugar, I don't smell it much. I don't smell much sugar cookie either, but I definitely get the lavender and the marshmallow fluff. Sweet Slumber, that's a good name for that one because it's a, it's a sweetened lavender for sure. If you, mm, yeah, if you like lavender marshmallow scents, you will definitely like that. Okay, and the other pack of tiles is called Bite of Sweet. Pomegranate, patchouli, amber, lollipop, pink sugar, and cotton candy. That sounds unique. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a very good, like, Valentine's Day scent. Uh, don't be worried about the patchouli. It's in there, but it's the earthy, non-acidic patchouli that just rounds it but you can't really pick it out if you didn't know it was in there that that pomegranate and lollipop kind of come together as well as the pink sugar and cotton candy to kind of make it smell like a pink candy but like a deeper pink candy this is a very valentine's -y scent it's like a sexy candy <laughs> if there could be a scent because it's juicy with a touch of earthiness, a touch, because the amber's in there too. Touch of the cotton candy. I think it's the lollipop that's making all those other, the pomegranate, the cotton candy, and the pink sugar come together and smell like a, a candy. That is really cool. Very unique. I've never smelled anything blended together like that. It's really like a perfect Valentine's Day scent. I think I will be melting this on Valentine's Day. Okay, the next up, uh, cupcakes. These are three ounces total, and they're five dollars. Um, and this is called Tiffany. That's the name of it. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, cotton candy, bergamot, and jasmine rose. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That smells just like a chocolate cupcake. Some of the little, the little sparkly balls came off. I'm definitely getting cupcakes at Tiffany, which just it's so interesting. Not much bergamot, like there's nothing masculine or citrusy, but I get just the tiniest bit of that rose. 
which also makes this a Valentine's-y scent. That sounds weird, but so if you guys have smelled different cupcakes at Tiffany's Oil, in my opinion, there are ones that smell more like there's white cake involved and ones that smell more like there's chocolate cake involved. This one smells more like chocolate involved cake. And it sounds weird. There's just a touch of jasmine and rose in there that make this smell like Valentine's Day. And maybe it's just playing with my head because it's I'm preparing for Valentine's Day. This is pink. Wow. This smells like chocolate cupcakes and flowers, but the flower's so light in there that don't be worried. Like that sounds like something I wouldn't want to melt, but this is so good and unique. If you want a unique Valentine's Day scent, this is the way to go. This is wow. Chocolate cupcakes with vanilla frosting and flowers sitting next to each other on the table waiting for you for valentine's day very cool okay and then that was the only cupcake i got then she has two different sizes of donuts there's small donuts which are five ounces and the larger donuts which are 6.7 ounces the smaller donuts are six dollars and fifty cents and the larger ones are eight dollars which these two donuts that i got are the same size so uh we shall see this first one is called Lemon Drop, and I love the color of it. And it's Lemon Curd, Lemon Sugar, Marshmallow Fluff, Sugar Waffle Cone. The whole thing out here. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. Mmm. Lemon Drop is the perfect name for this. This literally smells like a lemon drop candy with a little bit of bakery behind it. It's like a sweeter lemon drop with a little bit of bakery. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm, well, this is going to be melting first, probably. It literally smells like the color of this. Like, it looks exactly as it smells. Oh my gosh, wow. like sugary oh my gosh my mouth is watering sugary lemon drops with like vanilla cream oh that's delicious delicious that is really good <laughs> and this last one that i have one more um uh cupcake here um it's called baked with love and this is pumpkin chai pie pie crust sorry Funnel cake and sweet and creamy. Look how pretty this is. Mmm. Pumpkin chai first. Then the funnel cake. I do get like pie crust and sweet and creamy. To me, pie crust alone smells very creamy. This is good. Very much a pumpkin chai bakery sweet and creamy scent i know that's not super helpful but you definitely get the pie crust in there so it doesn't just smell like a straight up pumpkin scent and it's definitely pumpkin chai because chai is a little bit different than pumpkin spice oh that's so nice um very good for still like the cold weather mm. yeah that's nice um Pumpkin chai and pie crust, very creamy pie crust. Very nice. Okay, and that is it. So that's their release, like I said, that's coming out tomorrow, uh, noon Eastern. We have the lotion bars, which I'll probably buy more of myself. Um, she always has lip balm. She has those three um, soap bars for that deal for $8. We have the snap bars, the bunts, the tiles, the cupcakes, and the donuts. All of those for tomorrow's restock. So if you guys have any questions uh, down below, I will answer them for you. If you want more detail on how any of them smell, let me know. They make such unique blends. That's part of why I feel like they reach out to try to do different things that other vendors haven't done yet. And they have definitely accomplished that because when I smell them, I'm like, I haven't smelled these with other vendors. So really excited. 
to be melting these. And as you guys know, on my Instagram at Danny Loves Wax, I do little mini reviews under things that I melt. So I will be melting some of these today and tonight and letting you guys know how they are so you can go take a look tomorrow. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Stay well.